They can make complex shapes now. Oh, without having to use the volume builder. So they used to just have one default scene. And now you can have multiple default scenes that you can choose from this screen right here. So you're working in real time. Oh, my Lanta. It cranks up to this place, but it's working. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Stuff that pop up to guide you how that's going to work. We can be like, okay, I want it to raise that up a little bit more. There we go. We can kind of get an actual idea. Max on. <laughs> you're impressing me. And it's crashed. So we're back at square one here. It's to max on trash. Oh, ho, ho, Christmas has come early. And I'm not talking about my Rococo suit hiding back there, lurking in the background. That's coming soon. I'm talking about the new Maxon update. The winter update is now out. And basically, the winter update is the kind of changes in quality of life stuff that I wanted to see in the fall update, especially when switching from 2024 to 2025. So big W's for this one. We're going to talk about the new Boolean to tool, which is how boolean should work it just basically works like you want it to work now finally and not frustrating uh also the new improved viewport ipr is actually possibly usable the viewport is one of the c40's weakest links uh that sets it apart from things like blender and unreal engine which viewports are way better uh but this is pretty good a uh, good change so good progress We're heading in the right direction on top of that we also have a bunch of new assets as well as better rigid body systems as well as a bunch more and they say that scene nodes are now supposed to be like friendlier and easier to use i haven't dove into those because they scare me uh but we will because they're super cool and basically like whenever you see all this stuff on youtube about blender's geometry nodes that's what scene nodes are in c40 they're the same thing there's just not as much learning about them uh but there are new learning tools new templates a bunch of really cool changes so overall honestly it's pretty good and I'm pretty excited about it finally. And we're gonna put some of it to the test. There's a whole new UI, not inside, so don't get scared, just in the startup screen to kind of help people out uh, finding new stuff, which I think is really cool. So first off, great new feature. You can have templates set up. Basically you used to just have one default scene and now you can have multiple default scenes that you can choose from this screen right here. So you can say, okay, today I'm going to make a design, a product shot. So I'm going to have my product shot template or my three point light template or my landscape template, whatever template you need. You finally can just like alter right through rather than like having one kind of generic one that you kind of tweak and modify from there. You can just jump right into where you want to be. Huge, great feature. They don't even mention it in the update, but this is a good one. Uh, there's new stuff like this, as well as the ability to somehow learn along the way. I'm not sure how you do that, but uh, they have like windows and stuff that pop up to guide you. I'm not sure where that is, though. Main thing, big exciting thing, is the new bool system, right? Basically, the new bool system is what you always want bool to be but what you had to use the volume builder for but you didn't want to have to make a volume then smooth it out then make it a mesh and do all that and lose all your uvs now you could just use the bool system uh which basically works like the volume mesher but again easier so let's check it out in action bool okay we'll put a sphere in there let's do a cylinder boop, and we'll rotate that and just stab it in there okay now bool Okay, and we want to subtract and swap the order. And then we want to increase the segments there. Perfect, increase the segments here. And let's keep adding more shapes. That's right, we're doing more than two shapes in this pool. Look at this, and it's working very quickly and fast. Nice, take that down. And this one we'll put like here. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. And maybe we grab this guy and we take it down and pull it over so we can make like a chunk out of it like that. And the cylinder will make a little longer. So it cuts through all the way. There we go. Look, we can make complex shapes now oh, without having to use the volume builder. Fantastic. Copy, paste, rotate, zoom, and put that in the bottom down here. Cool. There we go. We can make that's how they should work. So yes, big W right there across the board. Cool. And it's crashed. So we're back at square one here. It's Maxon's trash. All right, here we go. Back into a new scene. 
Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the IPR. Turn that on. Now we're supposed to use the new Oiden in the IPR to make it faster. Not too shabby. I'm actually impressed. I'm working in real time. Oh my lanta. It's legit. Yeah, optics is pretty solid too. Whoa. Maxon. <laughs> You're impressing me. I put that on there. Boop. That's not bad. Okay, so is that displacing? That's the question I want to know. Crank this up. It is actually working. <gasps> My god. Look at this. If I crank this up. It cranks up the displacement. It's working in real time. It's really working. 50. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I am thoroughly impressed. This is fantastic. On top of that, they made substance painters work even better. They don't like get all off scale. New tune shader updates, sure. All right, and then this is cool. Material, random material switcher. This used to be a, a thing that was available and they got rid of it and they brought it back now, but it's combined with the jitter node. So very cool that you can just swap these material things out very quickly and easily, as well as adding a bunch more presets, bunch of these like assets and capsules as they call them are hidden behind the Maxon one paywall once again, but there's always a couple free ones, uh, but they are finally, you know, basically my faith in Maxon has been restored. I was pretty aggravated by the fall update. The winter update is actually pretty solid. Okay, ready? Go. And go, there it goes. Hey, pretty good. Nice, not too bad, all right. There we go. So you can kind of see while IPR was going, we actually were able to run dynamics and some would see it, not very clearly, but that's pretty good. That's better than it used to be. That's for sure. So we were actually, you know, things are looking up.